Well, good afternoon. Today is Monday, December 19th, and it's time for our weekly meeting highlights. Um, <clears throat> it's part of the series, uh, how to, how did I, I should remember what it is, how to set healthy intentions and stick to them. I should have listened to that. But it's also the, the topic for this week is how to eat more mindfully, even when you're distracted. Hmm, I could have used this one last week. Um, we always start off with how I did. I did not get on the scale this morning. I know that there was going to be a bad gain, and I know I'm going to be in the next set of numbers, and we know how much I don't like to acknowledge that. Although I should, I realize I should, and I know I'm probably making a mistake not doing it. But I've had family from out of town, um, came in last Tuesday, and I had more company that came on Saturday that stayed the weekend. And I have my family Christmas party. I know, excuses, Sandy. I'm, all I'm hearing are excuses. And uh, it's just the facts, as they said on Dragnet. Just the facts. I ate out at my pancake place. I had way too many chips and dip. I ate too much at my Christmas party. Um, I did not follow a plan. I did not track. I did all the things you're not supposed to do. I did that. But... Um, I'm going to get back on track. I uh, really am. I decided today I'm going to start. I've been keeping myself pretty busy. The reason this is coming up so late is I went to the post office to mail out some last-minute Christmas packages. Um, I think about it. They didn't give me a receipt. Anyway, uh, I did the Christmas. I did that. I went to the dollar store to get some cards. I went to Kroger's because I thought I'm going to get all my stuff for my Eve of Christmas Eve dinner, which is on Friday. I want to get all that out of the way. Of course, I did forget three things, so I have to go back. And I had a list, and I didn't check it twice, which if you saw my Facebook page over the weekend, I did check my posts before I put them up either. Um, I have, I am like, I know I look tired. I'm tired, but you know what? It's a happy tired, if that, if that makes any sense. I have been having so much joy, so much love this past week in my family. And uh, I... I just, uh, a, a number on the scale is not going to deter the fact that I had a great, great time. The number on the scale would reflect <laughs> how well of a time I really did have. But um, I am, I'm, I have a plan for this week. It's going to be a hard week for me because tonight I'm going out for uh, my, Eve, my sibling Christmas dinner. My brother and my two sisters, we get together every year and exchange gifts. Uh, on, at dinner. And then on Friday is my immediate family's eve of Christmas Eve. On Saturday at Christmas Eve, we go out to breakfast, uh, Christmas Day. All of this stuff is all coming to a close, I guess. Oh, and happy Hanukkah to my uh, Jewish friends and everybody that celebrates Hanukkah. And, um, but with that, let's get started. How to eat more mindfully even when you're distracted. Ever look down at your clean plate and barely remember what you ate? <laughs> they were following me last week. At your next meal, try one of these stay aware strategies, no matter what's going on around you. I did a lot of like picking, a lot of picking, because there were so many of my favorite foods that I can only get at Christmas time, uh, so many of my favorite desserts that we only have at Christmas time, and uh, I, I overindulged. I was overserved, as they say, <laughs> but they, the only one overserving me was me, <laughs> so I can't blame it on anybody else. But the first thing they do is to say, manage distractions. Keep your phone and any electronics out of sight. I would have been better off with the phone in my hand, playing with the phone <laughs> rather than trying to look at the food. And occasionally pause during conversations to shift focus to how food tastes. Um, I don't understand how that's supposed to keep you distracted because if someone says, oh, you got to try this cookie, it's really good. I'm going to go try the cookie. So that... I, I don't. They probably mean something more than I'm interpreting it from, but that's what I how. That's how my brain interprets it. Pause during conversations to shift focus on to how food tastes. I know what they mean. What they mean is when you have the food in your mouth, instead of talking about everything, think about the food that you're eating at the time. But how my mind worked and how my brain worked all week was this cookie tastes really good. Oh, look at there. There's a, there's a pretzel jello. I love pretzel jello. That's how my mind worked. I should have concentrated more on the cookie in my mouth. That, that's what they're talking about. I understand that. I knew that, but I was, such is the reason I know I had a gain with that attitude. Uh, focus on your food. Pause before digging in to notice the colors on your plate and listen for the different sounds that each bite makes as you chew. 
I love to, when I prepare my family dinners, I love to have a colorful plate. I have carrots, which are orange, obviously. Green beans or broccoli or peas, which are green. Corn, which is yellow. The potatoes are white. The meat or the meat sauce is usually like a red or a brown. Um, the salad is green with the dressing. I, I have a very colorful plate when I eat. And I really do think it makes a difference because you like to have a pretty plate. I really do. There's, that's a reason why when there's food magazines, they don't put just slap food on a plate. They make it like beautiful so that you, you're you supposed to eat with your mind first. And listen to for the different sounds. I know this is a weight loss channel, but I would hear like the chips or the pretzels crunching. But I know they're talking about like a celery crunching or, or things like that. I, I understand. And this is what I really should have done. Slow down. Try to match the pace of the slowest eater at the table. Well, unfortunately, I am the slowest eater at the table, so it's kind of hard to pace myself with anybody else because uh, I don't have very many teeth. I have my front teeth, but I don't have very many back teeth. And so I have pretty strong gums. <laughs> but um, I'm a very slow, slow eater. I am very self-conscious of choking. Um, I, I have a, a fear of, the, of choking. And so I eat very, very slow. And then spend the next, the first two minutes eating with your non-dominant hand. The problem with this with me is I should have been left-handed, but I went to a Catholic school and uh, only the devil wrote with the left hand, according to Sister Mary Anthony. And I got my hand whacked. I couldn't tell you how many, because I tried to sneak. But then, you know, like left-hander people, you have that little telltale because you get the ink. Because we had the, like a fountain pen with a cartridge that we put in the pen. Uh, so like when you write, your hand kind of drags along the ink. So that was a dead giveaway. <laughs> and plus you have a little bit of a different slant on it. So I can do anything equally with either my right hand or my left hand. So, um, but I understand what they're saying. Once again, I do understand what they're saying that if you have to be more aware that you're eating a little bit differently than you normally do, you'll be a little bit more conscious of it. And to dive a little deeper, they say this can be a busy time of year. And if you're not celebrating or catching up with friends or family, you might be catching up on emails, your favorite TV show, or your to-do list, or all of the above. I have all of that, plus I'm trying to keep keep up with my YouTube uh, subscribers that I follow. Um, I'm way behind on that, but I, I'm sure that they're going to give me some grace. And once the things settle down, I'll catch up. I'll do a marathon. You know me. I love to binge watch things. Uh, and chances are you're doing it over a plate of food or a platter of apps. That's true, I am. The problem, being distracted during meals can tend to lead you fast. Wait a minute. Being distracted during meals can lead you to eat faster and more than you intended. I'm not going to eat faster, but I definitely am going to eat more than I intended. You might also miss out on noticing just how delicious your food is. One of the very first, the very things that can make eating food so enjoyable. Um... I completely agree with this because I, the first couple bites are really the ones that you really get the most satisfaction out of. So why do I continue to follow up eating it? You know, it's just, I should put like a tablespoon of everything I like on my plate and then it wouldn't be like I was overindulging myself because I wouldn't have had as much. But when I take like a scoop of this and a scoop of that, that's why, that's why I didn't get on the scale today. We're not suggesting you put blinders on when you pick up your fork. Simply try to slow down and find moments to connect with your food and, ex and the experience of eating. Being more mindful gives your body time to signal your brain that it's full and gives you a chance to savor the flavors and textures, which can help you feel satisfied. There are a lot of foods that, that I don't like, and I don't know so much that I don't like the, like the taste of it. It's the texture because... Um, I think that when you make, you make yourself more aware of the texture and foods, you do uh, better at your uh, planning of your weight loss and tracking of your food and things like that. This will be helpful on your journey regardless of the season. Holiday or whatever else is vying for your attention. So uh, we got one more week of this. Uh, one more week. <laughs> it sounds like awful, doesn't it? We got one more week before the, well, we have one more week before the year is out. Jeez, next week will be my last uh, beating highlights for 2022. That doesn't seem possible. But um, I'm going to figure out how I've done this year. I know I haven't done as well as I've done in the past. So I'm going to track that um, probably on January 1st or the January 2nd because that'll be my first way in, official way in for the new year. Um, I'm going to let everybody know how I did since I've joined Weight Watchers, how I did from each year. I'm going to tell you because I, I basically I joined January 1st, 2017. I joined on uh, 
New Year's Eve, December 31st, 2016. So I'm just going to consider that my January 1st weigh-in for 2020 or for 2017 and, uh, and just go from there and just see how I progressed over the years. Maybe I didn't do as badly as I thought, but I know I did. But anyway, so this is going to be a hard week for everybody, but remember to eat mindfully. Even if you're distracted, remember what you're eating. Track what you're eating. Do whatever you need to do to just stay on track. That is my plan for this week. But if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, leave a comment, hit the like button, share if you think somebody might like to see it. I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas, uh, Happy Hanukkah, or Happy Holidays for whatever um, your religion follows for this time of year. And uh, we can do this. I know we can. So hopefully I see you on my daily vlog, but if not, I will see you here next week. And uh, I definitely will weigh myself next week because uh, I can't go two weeks in a row not weighing myself. That's just is not going to happen. So be happy, be safe, be healthy, be, be mindful. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Oh, you know what? How did you guys do? Am I the only one that's failing miserably at Christmas time? This has been a hard Christmas season this year for me as far as following my plan. But uh, it's been one of my better Christmases in a long, long time. So anyway, let me know how you're doing. Thank you.